exploration went off Vancouver Island and Haida Gwaii, uh, far offshore, about 100 kilometers at a minimum, and then deep kilometers into the ocean. So it wasn't just me, um, it was an entire team which included uh, the co-managing First Nations of the Marine Protected Areas, the Government of Canada, and then we actually brought in and leaned heavily into the international science community too. So the main focus of this expedition was to learn as much as we can about our deep sea, essentially discovery with the aim to best understand and protect these special areas. I'm not going to throw shade to the other coasts of Canada, but none of these exist in the Arctic. None of them exist in the Atlantic of Canada. Uh, this is a BC phenomenon. Hidden mountain ranges of underwater volcanoes, hot springs like hydrothermal vents. Uh, we have cold seeps. So we have this mosaic of habitats that are hidden below the waves that don't usually occur in such high densities, don't usually occur together, but that we fortunately have off our coast really close to land. On this expedition, we definitely discovered species new to science. We got to spend a couple hours on the seafloor with this small, beautiful purple octopus who was sitting on her eggs for at least four and a half years. It's actually the world record for longest gestation of any animal. You could see the little eyes of the octopus peering out through the eggs. Um, and this mom, while completely emaciated because the last meal she had was five years before, um, she was actually with her arms fending off the larger than her king crabs that were coming in knowing that she was nearing the end of her life, but she was successfully fighting them off because she would not let go of that rock until she felt her young hatch from underneath her. And then when they were safe, she would let go and then the crabs would get their meal and the young would be safe. And we got to see that play out for the first time uh, ever documented on film. And uh, let me tell you, there was not a dry eye on that boat. That experience went beyond science because it's something we can all relate to. Keeping your young safe, uh, keeping the predators uh, at bay and, um, and sacrifice. And it's the personal connections that we can make between people and animals that will move people to make conscious decisions about what happens to the deep. You know, I recognize the science, um, I recognize the usefulness of it, but on a personal level, uh, it, it touched me in that way too. And that's how I knew that uh, we were seeing something that was really gonna move people.